Hey guys, Cal Torak here. Today, I want to bring you my first Cataclysm leveling video. I want to preface this by saying this is my first time ever playing Cata. While I am mostly a classic Andy, I've played every WoW expansion except this one. I'm sure there are some information, talent choices, and such that I get wrong. I'm overall pretty interested in Cata right now, so if you have any pointers or advice for me, politely comment down below. While I was often looking for some AoE leveling options before now, the talents and skill changes made that very hard. It wasn't really until I got Dragon's Breath and a few other key talents that I was able to AoE farm without it being a massive XP loss per hour. I do want to note that if you have a good group for Random Dungeon Finder, you are better off spamming that. I was solo queuing and sometimes the groups were just awful, so I found this more enjoyable to me. In general, I would say Dungeon Finder is better XP per hour but I had a lot of fun at this location. At worst, you can use this spot to farm between long dungeon queues. You can do this farm from levels 50 to 55. I stumbled across this place while questing at 51 and had little trouble clearing it. I believe you should be fine doing this farm at level 50. We are at the burning steps. The Blackrock Stronghold has some pretty dense packs of non-elites. Every mob I kill does give XP. There are four big stacks of mobs and a bunch of stragglers scattered around. By the time I do a full loop, the first mobs are already respawning. On average, I was able to do loops in about 10 minutes for 275k XP per hour. Here are the talents that I'm using. If you are new to Catamage, I'll try and quickly break down the key talents. Again, if I get something wrong though, let me know. Dragon's Breath, Blast Wave, and Improved Flame Strikes are must-haves. Blast Rage is a ranged spell in Kata, and Improved Flame Strike makes your Blast Wave cast Flame Strike. We also just spam Instant Cast Flame Strikes as filler sometimes. Big Burst comes from Combustion, Ignite, and Impact. Impact makes your Fire Blast spread all fire damage over time effects on the target to all nearby targets. Combustion has changed to be a dot in Kata, a dot that scales based off how much dot damage you have on the target. So chaining a big Ignite crit, with combustion and just spreading it to all targets with impact leads to some insane damage. Even if you are sloppy with combustion or just getting unlucky with crits, you can very easily clear these groups without using a mass combustion spread. Cauterize is the last talent I want to highlight, and it has saved my life plenty. For this farm specifically, for Prime Glyphs I would use Molten Armor and Pyroblast. For Major, I'd go Blast Wave and Dragon's Breath. Those would make this easier, but I did it just fine without any Glyphs. For the opener, I like to open with Pyroblast. The Pyroblast dot can be chained with Combustion and Impact. If it crits and you get a good Ignite spread, even better. You can do insane amounts of DPS with a perfect Combustion opener. After my Pyroblast, I like to get an Instant Cast Flame Strike off. This is just to get all the mobs instantly in combat with me and moving towards me. If the mobs end up spread out into separate groups, it becomes harder to stack them with Dragon's Blur. Let the mobs get close to you and then hit them with a big DB. Weave in Nova, Blast Wave, and Kona Cold to keep the mobs slow and away from you. Spam Instant Cast Flame Strikes as fillers. This is for impact procs as well as trying to get Ignite crits to spread. Use Ice Block if things get hairy and don't be afraid to blink to create some distance. Remember, Cauterize is pretty nuts and can save your life. Just don't take too much damage mid Cauterize or you will die from the dot. Lastly, you can always mount and run around to grab the edge stragglers to clear room before you start the big bulls. Anyways, this is the first time playing Kata Pre-Patch that I felt at home. I love AoE leveling and stuff like this, and hope there are plenty of places I can do stuff like this for. I believe I saw that Solo Slave Pens leveling is still a thing, as well as Halls of Stone and Utgard Key. If they are possible, I'll probably have leveling videos for these spots soon. If you have any cool places for me to check out 55+, comment down below. I'll try and give you a shout out in my next Kata leveling videos. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. I live stream every Monday through Friday on YouTube and Twitch, and will be live streaming the speed leveling to 85 on Catalanche. Come hang out. Take care, and see you in the next one, boys.